Some things are just no match for the power of a hurricane like Ida. The roof of this hospital ripped off. No surprise then that Louisiana woke up to scenes like this. Widespread damage and a search operation for those who'd stayed behind, those who can be helped and those for whom it's too late. What is most remarkable about Ida is just how long it remained a major hurricane over land, battering places like New Orleans for hours. They're used to hurricanes in the city they call the Big Easy. Exactly 16 years ago, Katrina was devastating this place. This time, the levees appear to have held firm. I'm nowhere near like Katrina. But it could have been if it would have hit here. I think it hit home instead, home of Louisiana. That's where the majority of the, the eye wall went to home. Ida had made landfall on the barrier islands to the south. The authorities believe, they hope, that everyone had left before this arrived. This storm surge was the thing that worried emergency services the most. They say parts of this coast could be uninhabitable for weeks. Robust search and rescue is happening right now, uh, and I fully expected that death count will go up considerably uh, throughout the day. We're going to get through this. It's going to take some time, and the cleanup is going to is going to take a number of weeks and months. And the water. Thousands of people will face a long and arduous recovery right. from this. It will be days before they know exactly what Ida's left behind. More immediately, the whole of New Orleans remains without power after what they called catastrophic damage to the electricity grid. The concern is that many will have lost a lot more. The destruction on Earth, viewed from space, and Ida still isn't done yet.